Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're coming from Sheringham. Well, we will be in just a little bit, but before we do that, I thought I would start here on what is known as the Beeston Bump in Beeston Regis. If you're brand new here, I would really appreciate it if you can give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when a new video is up. And who ever said Norfolk was flat? So down there you can see just along the beach and I'm not sure if you can see in the distance there's a church sticking out. That's Cromer. And then if you swing across, you can see Sheringham. So here we are in Sheringham. Before we start and go down towards the seafront, I just need to show you something rather interesting. So I'm coming up here, which obviously is just a Tesco, but it's not any Tesco. This has been 17 years in the planning. Local shoppers and residents didn't want a Tesco in Sheringham. People were worried about the parking and people were worried about what it would look like as well. So it was stipulated in the plans for it to look like this and to have that Sheringham feel with that flint brick wall. And coming up to one of my favourite areas of Sheringham, the North Norfolk Railway, also known as the Poppy Line. It's around about five miles. It's a heritage steam railway which runs between Sheringham and Hull and it literally cuts through the countryside. Uh, it goes along Weybourne and the views of its windmill and the sea is just beautiful. So that's where the usual trains come into Sheringham and here is the start of the North Norfolk Railway. So at the time of filming it was actually closed but I will return to do a video on this train station. I mean this would be a great experience in itself. I love a good cream tea, a scone and enjoying the beautiful North Norfolk coast would be amazing. So hopefully uh, when all this is back up and running definitely worth doing. You'll see a lot of these buildings actually in Sheringham all with flint in the front of them and also built with quite a lot of flint actually. You can just see these three houses here with the flint walls. I notice this every year, showing them need to take down their Christmas lights. They, uh, they stay up all year. Well, I guess it saves money. See the crabs are everywhere. <laughs> you see the photos and the drawings. It's famous for its crabs and of course it's lobster as well. They have a, uh, a crab and lobster festival every summer. Again, I don't think they're going to be having it this year. Um, and there are no short supply of pubs either. This is the, uh, the Robin Hood and there's a lot of pubs in Sheringham. I was talking about the Christmas lights in Sheringham. There you go. Merry Christmas. I think someone needs to take it down. <laughs> How beautiful is this place for a little coffee shop? Look at the flint on the walls there. And an interesting fact you may or may not know about, on the 7th of July back in 2018, the world record for Morris dancing was achieved on this very street with 369 dancers. Again, you're spoiled for fish and chips here in Sheringham. There's about five different chip shops you can actually go to. So there's one there. There's also one down the corner. There's another one there. That's a great little coffee shop. It's one of my favorite pubs to come down to as well in the summer. They've also normally got live music on, but um, obviously because of coronavirus, so many live music happening. They've got a really nice beer garden actually. And Sheringham is not short of events throughout the year as well. They have quite a packed schedule, obviously because of coronavirus, everything's kind of been stopped, but uh, I'm not sure whether the, uh, the carnival is going to go ahead uh, this year. 
in August. I hope it does because it is really uh, great to come down here on uh, Carnival Day. Great atmosphere. Again, you can get your fresh crabs and your lobsters from there daily. And we're on the East Coast, but what is also unique about Sheringham is that you can actually see the sunset. This particular pub here um, is a lovely place to go to watch the sunset. I know, it seems weird to be on the East Coast and watching the sunset, but I'll show you where the sunset actually happens. Just over there. It's a popular place for people to eat their fish and chips along here. Again, the beach in Sheringham is absolutely gorgeous. It's quite weird, when the tide's in, you'd probably think it's a shingle beach because the, uh, the shingle is literally... I mean, look how neat that is. I don't think they've done that on purpose. I think that is actually natural, but um, amazing how straight that shingle line is. So this is a great place to come and look at the boats that are normally up here. All held on by, um, by rope so they don't fall down. I'm so jealous of the lady in that little house right now. What a view. Now I just want to quickly come up here to show you something um, that I find very unique here in Sheringham. Now don't laugh, but this is a shell gallery. I mean, I love quirky stuff like this, um, and it's a shame it's not open because I can show you, but um, some fascinating stuff that have been made with just using shells. It's free normally to go into as well, so definitely check it out um, just up from the beach when you're next here in Sheringham. And if you like your shipwrecks, definitely come up to this area of the beach. There was a wreck here at low tide, which you can see from a horrendous storm that lashed the east coast of England back in 1897. Yeah, so I don't think these are used anymore, but um, they almost remind me of uh, little holiday park chalets that you can see along here. How cute are these? Again, I don't think there's much more than just a little kitchen and somewhere to sit down. But I guess it's the great view. No, you don't even get a kitchen inside. <laughs> I've just seen. And it's not very often I mention toilets on my trips, unless I need to go, but this is worth a mention, um, done out in this beautiful Victorian building just off the seafront. Um, and in just a little bit, we actually are going to be going to a beautiful building that once was similar to this, a toilet block. Now this is obviously not a swimming pool, although um, it looks really lovely. This is another boating lake, which uh, I have to say I've never seen anyone use since I've been coming to Sheringham in all these years. Um, and I think they must have changed the water recently because um, the other week I was here it was green. I mean, it looks pretty blue today. So yeah. Unless I'm completely wrong, let me know in the comments, but I do believe this is a boating lake and not a pool. It's amazing to see these old buildings still standing along the seafront. You'll see a lot of these pretty much wherever you go along the coast. Used to be shielded from the wind, fantastic views, but no windows. In fact, I have to keep double checking if there is actually a window that's like super clean. I'll probably break my hand in a minute, but no, definitely no windows. One thing Norfolk has a lot of is golf courses. Uh, there's one in Cromer, the Royal Norfolk Golf Club, and here in Sheringham as well. And they have some fantastic views over the sea. If you're a keen golfer, you'll absolutely love it. 
And you may have seen in my other videos, of course, following the North Norfolk Coastal Path. You can continue, of course, going down towards Cromer and then on towards Great Yarmouth in theory. And along here, you can continue all the way up towards Hun Stanton. I've got shorts on, so I don't want to get stung by these nettles. Just amazing view when you're walking up here. We have to be quiet, there's people playing golf there. Shooting down the fairway, is that right? I'm not a golfer, I wouldn't know. Good drive, I think that's what you call it. And we finally get up to here, and just like other parts of the coast, we see Sheringham Coast Watch up there, keeping a lookout. But the view you get up here is just astonishing. Up here on a windy day is probably not the best place to be. But take a look at this. Nice bench there to ponder your thoughts and check out Sheringham Golf Club and the beautiful beach. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to go too close to the cliff because uh, it's a pretty big drop. So as you can see along there, the coastal path literally continues all the way up towards Brancaster, Wells, Holcomb, and all the way round to Hun Stanton as well. So obviously it was just literally up there, so I decided to jump down off the cliff. <laughs> Alright, I didn't jump down, I walked down. Um, just to come down as always, flip flops off and have a walk. Norfolk beaches are just my favourite, they really are. If you do come down on the beach though, just something to bear in mind, um, they do have a problem with weaver fish here and they kind of bury themselves into the sand and kind of have their little, uh, their fins or their, I don't know if they're poisonous or not actually, just let me know in the comments, but um, something to bear in mind that you don't step on them. I do keep seeing loads of uh, these, they're like their, um, they're worms or something. I've always seen those on the beach, but never really figured out what they are. A lot of people on the beach today, it's very busy. But again, here in Norfolk, you can go on the beach and social distancing is not a problem. And just up here, we find um, something you don't see too much of actually on the East Coast, little rock pools. Let's see if there's anything we can spot. No, I'm looking, I can't see anything. I say you can't see anything, but look at that. Look at all the little fishies in here, look. Oh, it's so nice. So, I do keep coming across these perfectly formed round holes. Does anybody know what these are obviously there must be something underneath the sand which I'm not going to put my finger in so yeah if anyone knows what they are and what they are let me know in the comments so as we walk down to this toilet block that's quite famous here in Sheringham a lot of history here on the wall that you can read about the fishermen here in the past the crab fishing lobster fishing For a second I thought they were real. Love this mural on the wall of the museum here in Sheringham. It's really nice, look at that. <laughs> I thought he was real as well. Again, I love these boats just nestled here like this. It looks so quaint, doesn't it? I'm so tempted to get a cream tea, but I think I'll settle for a Kit Kat and a coffee. Brilliant, thank you. Wow, that's like a, a whippy ice cream. Mind you, I do like it throffy like that. Love the fact that these are like beach huts, but they're actually toilets. So 
So here it is, what used to be the old toilet block that got uh, turned into a home. And what a home it is. I think it was on Grand Designs or another one of those kind of programs where they do houses up in unique locations, but uh, it's got three floors. And obviously when um, the tide's high, the waves crash into this, but um, yeah, it's all pretty secure. I guess the annoying thing is, is these stairs that literally go past the house. And just to show that it used to be a toilet block, you can still see the sign men's. And I love what they called it, the We Retreat. And all the way along here, there used to be those uh, chalets which we saw further down the seafront, which were knocked down back in 1979, then um, just replaced really with these uh, beach huts that you see today, and this nice little coffee shop. Although very small, it's really quaint to come down here to Sheringham on the North Norfolk coast. Make sure you do pay it a visit. As always, I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on the notification bell to make sure you see my next video. You can support me on Patreon. The links are in the description. Or you can even tip me via PayPal. As always, I'll see you next time.